right. Hey, what's up? It's me, LA. Let me turn the volume down a pinch. Hope everything works correctly. <laughs> Sarah Jakes, turn me up in the microphone. Gosh, doggy, I said turn me up in the microphone. Uh oh, Sarah Jakes. <laughs> Once again, my name is LA, pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Welcome to our first episode of The Many Looks of Wendy. The Many Looks of Wendy Williams. I have a slideshow here prepared, and I'm going to just dive right in. Welcome to the many looks of Wendy. I wanted to celebrate her in a way that was different from just obviously reflecting on her come up in the radio world, also known as the radio industry. She is going through so much terrible stuff right now and I don't like it. I just want to put out some good content of her. I'm hoping she is at home somewhere chilling, catching the breeze and having a good time in her life. Well. Here we go. Let's go, Wendy. Let's go. This is slide one. Um, the next slide. Okay. This is the first look. This is the first look that I chose. I'm going to do my best to stick to the script. The outfit that I'm going to choose first is, well, let me look back. I haven't decided a specific outfit for her. However, last week, when I first thought of this specific idea, my thoughts were to take it back to her childhood at some point. The color that came to mind to find of her and display as our first look of Wendy is going to be the color white. When I typed into Bing.com search engine, I typed in two different phrase, phrases to get results. The first phrase was Wendy Williams' childhood picture. And the second phrase, Wendy Williams baby picture. I got a, free, a few results. The picture to the right is the closest I got to the vision of what I intended. Plus, I really didn't want to spend too much time scouring the net for the picture and lose all of the fun of actually celebrating Wendy's fashions. During my search, I did come across this picture, the bigger picture to the left, and chose to just go with this one first. I'm still talking about the picture on the left, so I'm going to commit to the picture on the left and begin my fun time by talking all about Wendy's fashions. So what I'm saying in the notes is the color I chose to go with with this first episode is the color white. And I want to start from the beginning and search in the Google search engine or Bing.com rather and start from the basics of her youth. So the very left picture is her when she was bigger. I believe she was in like college or something. And the picture to the right with her being super cute in pigtails is a picture that best represents her childhood. Being the time allotted that I had to also do this too. Once again, we've chosen the color white. Let me pull up my notes. Okay, I want to talk about this look of Wendy again. Like I said, I didn't do too much digging, looking and investigating on the exactness of which, when, and where this picture was taken. I just simply liked it, and plus, it focused on the color choice, which is white. I'm assuming that this picture was maybe in her college days. Having said that, let's begin. The goal of this slide, the goal of this slide, what is it? Ooh, the goal of this slideshow segment is to talk about what she, Wendy Williams, is wearing and to perhaps find something modern in this time to best reflect the look of her past. Number two, to talk about how the specific pictures looks and make me feel. And number three, also, I remember I will wear something of my personal, of my person that will best represent the color and look that I'm featuring today. Okay, I botched up with the rules how this program is going to be. So number one, when with these fashions of Wendy's, the goal is to have the slideshow segment, of course, to talk about what she, Wendy Williams is wearing. And to perhaps, which I did, find something modern that best reflects the current um, wardrobe slash attire that we're featuring today. So we have Wendy Williams in her 
college days, I'm assuming red and white. Okay. So the goal is to not only talk about that picture, but to also see if through the Google lens, that there's something up to date that represents and best reflects similarly to what she's wearing today. Like this is 2024 and she took that picture a long time ago. What type of alf outfit do we have that's modern to today? Um, talk about the picture and about how it makes me feel. And then third, also, I will wear something to match. What you see at the bottom right, I'm wearing white. At the time, that's what I had that was white and bright enough to reflect um, the color theme of the day. As each video progresses, I'm quite sure my, so will my fashion choices in reference to how I want to represent myself too. So I'm wearing white in this light show. My husband took that picture for me and there we go. Now I'm part of the festivities. So I'm going to go to slide um, four. This is really fun. And as time progresses, I will get even better at this. Okay, this looks like a Wendy cheerleader outfit. Ra ra ra! I see that she's wearing a sweater with a collar underneath. Okay, so right now we're doing the breakdown. Okay, this looks like a Wendy Williams cheerleader outfit. Ra ra ra! I see that she's wearing a sweater with a collar underneath. There are two flags on the front center. There's a patch on the right of her arm that is blue. Well, navy. Well, it looks like it's the shape of a football. She's wearing a necklace too. It's, it looks like it's gold jewelry. Maybe I'll focus on the gold later. Right now, I want to focus on the sweater. The color is red and white. There's a collar underneath. The first idea I am thinking of is like a sailor, but I don't want to go there. So I'm going to expound on this in reference to the notes that I just said and actually look at this picture again. So she is wearing something for whatever reason at the time, it looks like a nautical type feel, probably because of that crisp, fresh, crisp collar that's coming up out of there. It do instantly take me back to, oh, I matey. <laughs> I'm not talking about references of pirates, but the actual sailors, i.e. Old Navy commercials, how they portray the sailor people, really cheesy, really, shoo wah, shoo -wah look at me, I'm a sailor, everything's crisp and white, ah, that's what that collar reminds me of. The flags in the middle, now that I look at it, it kind of seemed like racer flags too, you know, at the end of a race, drag racing, those are the type of flags they wave at the end, or is it? I know that's how the flags are depicted as far as the shape. I do think that the drag racer flags are more or less checkered black and white. But I'm quite sure you're understanding what I'm trying to say. In reference to what those flags um, identify to me as. The material of the sweater, I don't want to say it's wool, but who knows? Wool is the first thing that came to mind. Only because it's in the past past. And... I think Wendy Williams is definitely my parents' age, so wool was in, correct? But they just wore a shirt, which explains her collar. She's probably a, a long sleeve collar, button down shirt underneath her wool sweater to protect her from being itchy. The picture shows that it's probably summertime, so she's probably hot, the poor girl. But her hair isn't sweated out, you know? She's got that nice bang, brown hair. I'm assuming that's her natural hair. Seemed like it's been brown all day, every day. Um, it don't even look like she's wearing makeup. If she is, you can't even hardly tell. You cannot hardly tell because it's so done lightly. The sweater's like a creamish white, but it's the closest to the white. And her skirt actually looks like it's a light tan. It's definitely some form of uniform. That's what it looks like to me. At a first glance, it reminds me of a cheerleading outfit. So these are questions I would like to learn more about. Were you in cheerleading? I do believe this was your college uniform or first day of college outfit that you chose to wear. But nonetheless, it exudes preppy and I like it. Makes me wonder what type of college she went to to have her feel compelled to wear that type of look comfortably. You know, comfortably. 
And I say comfortably because I'm not sure she went to an HBCU, historically black university, college, or what have you. But I don't think that at that time she were to wear that, she will be able to wear that with confidence. Wendy Williams is a confident woman. What I'm saying is she's wearing something that's strictly that looks like for the Caucasian people. So I can highly doubt, based on my assumptions, that she's wearing that to an HBCU. But if she is, go Wendy, you brave woman. Overall, it's a cute outfit. I think she's wearing wool. But she looks cute in it. Man, we're going right through these slides, man. On this slide here, which is slide number five, I found the whole out. I found the whole outfit of this outfit. <laughs> this is exactly what I typed. I found the whole outfit of this outfit. I'm going to put it in this presentation, okay? Just hang on a minute. Boop, there it is. Boop, there it is. The fullness of this outfit. Oh my gosh. Outfit slash cheerleader suit is red and white or an orange and white. Y'all, it looks sort of like red orange. Anywho, let's keep going. Using the Bing search engine, there is a search mechanism called visual search. It's like Google Lens. I highlighted a portion of the outfit, like the center part, and I saw a few things that came up to similarly match what she's got going on. Right now, I'm currently thinking on how to set up the next slide to display to you guys. I know for sure that I want to first display the inspiration that I was drawn to first as far as fashion. With the help of Bing's visual search, you guys and gals, I'm having a fun time doing this. It's like I'm playing dress up or like paper dolls. Paper dolls, yes! I can't remember paper dolls more than dress up with real dolls. I had more options with paper dolls than real dolls. So what I'm saying here is um, the previous slide, it only showed pretty much um, the focusing of her the top portion of her outfit and I was going with that and I liked it enough. You see how much I was able to just talk about in reference to just looking at the top portion of her outfit. And then with the help of the search lens, I was able to find a full length picture. And so she's in the cheerleading outfit. Now was she on the cheerleading squad, palm squad or some type of dance thing or color guard or what have you? Nonetheless, it's a uniform. I'm not sure if it's something because she was in a team of some sort or it's just what she wanted to wear as far as the preppy thing. But like I said, seeing the complete outfit of her really reframes or put my thought processes in a different light because I said, based off of what I saw, I thought maybe she was going to some type of Ivy League college because she fits the bill. It's Wendy effing Williams. She can do what she please, you know? But in the same line, I'm like, if she went to an HBCU, heaven help her because she's wearing old Navy type prep to an all black college. And I'm not sure. I'm thinking of the school days movie and they're going to dog her because of her outfit. Like, why are you dressing like the white people? We are the HBCU girl. You better put some African bone bottle inspired clothes on or something. A bamboo hoop earrings the size of plates and saucers in your head. Sh I know what I mean. <laughs> so that's that on that. And she's got those cute little tassels. So now that I see the tassels on the bottom, it makes me think of the band. You know how the girls danced in the band? You know, burp, bump, 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 bump. If that's what it reminds me of, too. Hold on. I have rice cooking. Just a minute. I need to go um, check it. Okay, I'm coming back. <laughs> Life goes on. So that is a really cute outfit. So I would love to know more about her story with this. Hey, Wendy. Um. I would love to hear more about your story with this particular outfit. It's nice. It's really nice. I actually kind of want this outfit for myself. Slide number six. 
like I was saying, um, making this um, slideshow presentation of the looks of Wendy Williams, it reminds me of just digital paper dolls. Paper dolls were more fun because I was actually able to actually physically cut out from a catalog the actual outfit I wanted to see on the paper creation, you know? Opposed to actual plastic dolls where you had to go buy the stuff and finances weren't hidden. That could be discouraging. So I wanted to be able to be as free and expressive as possible without feeling the restraints of we don't have any money. So paper dolls were perfect. Image number one, this jacket is awesome and so, so fly, y'all. I was looking up the information to find where this jacket came from, like which website I could get it from, you know, like reading all the details in which the jacket is all about, where you can get it from, and to thank and give the authentic source credit. The sad news is, oh, the website is called costumemasters.com. There was a small blue description attached to this picture, so I will provide this too, and it reads, Day Coast U.S. size for Assassin's Cosplay Connor Jacket Coat. For reference purposes, and I'll add the link in which this picture was found on Bing Search Engine. So obviously, this wonderful jacket is inspired by the cool graphic video game Assassin, Assassin's Creed. Cha-cha-cha! I am a fan of Assassin's games. However, I do not play it yet. I, ha I have yet to play it, but I've already, I already loved the game. I have yet to find the time to authentically devote to gaming again. At this time, I am more drawn to the ambience, theme, and clothing aspect of the game, meaning the Assassin's Creed. I even took a picture in the jacket like this. So I once own, I don't have it anymore. Sad face, I think someone stole it. If someone stole it, I hope their hands fall off, both of their hands. <laughs> Please note that this picture of me down at the bottom has the name LA Understood. It says LA Understood because that is my pen name I use on books that I've self-published. By the way, my husband took this excellent picture of me. Hey, thank you, baby, for taking this good picture of me. Thank you, and I love you always. Yay! As you can see, why and how I come to the Bing's version of Google Lens. As you can see, why and how come the Bing's version of Google Lens picked this in the roster. Yeah, there were several choice jackets and such of the specific jacket I chose, but my eyes lay on this one first and the longest. So this is the part where I was talking about probably on um, rule number two. Find something in modern day by way of Google Lens or Bing Lens. I've been using Bing Lens for this presentation to see if I can find something in reference to Wendy Williams' picture of her time compared to something present of this time. I Google Lens Wendy's outfit, the complete outfit, okay, of her cheerleader-esque outfit. And by way of being searchlens.com or what have you, the jacket that's titled number one is what came up. I was drawn to it simply because it reminded me of a jacket that I once owned down at the bottom. It's Assassin Creed inspired. I thought this portion of the segment was really fun because there were other choices that the Bing com lens brought to my attention in reference to finding simi modern similarities to the Wendy Williams cheerleader costume. Whoa. Or outfit. Nonetheless, it's, nonetheless it's cute. But within those searches, the jacket that's got the number one in is what I was drawn to. So I think that was really fun. I can see the similarities and why the Bing search will pick it because there's white and red, of course, okay? But there's the two representations of the flags right in the center. So I really like that. And to show more additional proof is the fact that I've got a picture of a jacket basically like that, but two different colors, 
mine's is red and black and her and the one at the top is red and white. So there's modern day versus the past time and similarities to matching our darling Wendy. Moving forward here in this compilation on the slide. Okay, this just then extra when I was looking for this picture again because I had accidentally closed the window while I typed in the search engine engine Wendy Williams childhood pictures end quote. So I quoted, I typed in Wendy Williams childhood pictures, okay? End quote. Scrolling down, nearly dang near to the bottom of the page, I came to some other subcategories of Wendy when pertaining to more pictures of her. Then boom, just like that, down at the bottom was a subcategory that said, quote, Wendy Williams high school, end quote. There was the picture of her in the uniform we were talking about. Okay, so it was the timestamp. We're getting somewhere. This was not a college picture, okay? According to the search engine and the subcategories, this fell under her high school pictures. Yeah, like, so there you have it. According to this Wendell's Bing search engine, this is a picture of Miss Wendy Williams in high school. Boom, and yay! Go, Wendy, go, Wendy, go, Wendy, go, go. High school, get your high school on. High school, get your high school on. High school, get your high school on. That's very awesome. Okay. So time for the next slide. Now for the second picture I chose, something a little more in the fashion category of professionalism, catalogish type of look. This is the more grown up and sophisticated look of Wendy Williams that came up. Like, so I gravitated to this look because it was so different compared to all the other things that was coming up. There were a lot of a variety of styles like cardinal sweaters up in the search and that wasn't what the look i was going for so for my second look in reference to modern dayness of the outfit we're pulling ideas from fashionable inspiration from this is my second look the first look was my first choice and best reference to what i would choose and wear and gravitate to if i had to um match wendy's cool high school picture my second look, I wanted something contrarily different. Contrary, contrary. I'm using the word, right? <sighs> Long side. Let me look it up in the dictionary. Please stand by. Yawn. Well, according to the Bing Dictionary search engine, here is the definition of the word contract. Contrary is an adjective. Opposite in nature, direction, or meaning. He ignored contrary advice and agreed on the deal. Synonyms, opposite, opposing, opposed, contradictory, clashing, conflicting, and more. Second definition of contrary, perversely inclined to degree, to disagree or to do the opposite of what is expected or desired. Example sentence, she is sulky and contrary, rather her work is concerned. Synonyms, perverse, awkward, difficult, uncooperative, unhelpful, obstructive. Now, the opposite. So like I said, now I'm moving on. I wanted to do something, choose something contrary to my first choice in representation of modern day representation of <laughs> the Wendy Williams High School a uh, suit outfit let's go to where this outfit came from and how you can order it the outfit is provided to you by a store called first dibs d as in donkey i as in ice cream b as in banana d as in donkey and s as in salad here's the link to lead you to directly to the outfit there's a picture there so hopefully you can expand on there if i remember i will try to put the link to this store so you can get this wendy williams inspired outfit from the um place i'm referencing so example number two in modern day realism we have wendy williams outfit realized as a let's see a librarian type of college professional librarian 
esque outfit. It's the same thing, but it's as if Wendy Williams took a different line of work, office work, clerical work, like I said, a library college lady outfit. But nonetheless, it's the same reference to the outfit that she wore in now that we know high school. Just modern day it up. This is the makeup of the outfit. I'll read the description even though it is in the slide in the about section. This outfit is sold for the price of $425. Courageous cream ribbed cardigan and 8020 acrylic nylon blend, AC logo on the chest with two rib pockets, two rib pockets, vintage courageous size zero. Details is designer Andre Courageous. I do apologize for saying the name wrong. The dimensions mark size small US, the bust is 28 inches, 71.12 centimeters, waist 28 inches or 71.12 centimeters, hip 28 inches, 71.12 centimeters, shoulder to hem 24 inches or 60.96 centimeters, place of origin, France, period. 1970 to 1979 inspiration. So what you're looking at now in image number two, by way of Wendy Williams inspirational high school attire outfit, to the right, this is period from 1970 to 1979s. It do kind of feel like that, especially in the center part where the pockets start at the bottom of the sweater, right to the mid part where you bend and sit. That's where I'm feeling of that um, 1970s style, probably because that um, the way the pockets sit, so scoring plain, and how the zipper's like on the zipper, on the zipper. Okay, I served my purpose on the zipper. This just blunt. Everything's blunt. Everything's blunt, but it works. The seller location is Riverdale, New York. Reference number is done at the bottom. First dibs, U09062046754. First dibs, reference number is U as a unicorn, 09062046754. For those who are actually deeply interested in purchasing this or finding fashionable inspiration in this thereof, this is the information to go by to further study the material that um, represents Wendy Williams' outfit that we chose today. I'm doing my best to give credit to every person or website that we're you know looking up on here so it's time to wrap this up okay on here the final slide i will show you two random female looks that you haven't seen before in this particular slideshow two random male looks that you haven't seen before well i had to add another male look in the equation to give the looks an overall fullness to the presentation the choices for the men weren't all that inspiring none with this particular um outfit thus the explainable all of the fashions came from the inspiration of the color of the day, which is white. All of these fashions come from the inspiration of Wendy Williams' high school years. The picture is her, of her in her cheerleader outfit. Her cheerleading outfit. I want to say thank you all for coming in on my pre-recorded live. I want to thank you all for sharing this awesome Wendy Williams fashion-inspired video. Thank you all for your time and for subscribing. I will see you all again next Next time with another inspiring Wendy Williams fashion. Lastly, big shout outs to Wendy Williams. Hang in there. I'm rooting for you and I'm believing for you that all things will get better for you. I love you, Wendy. I'm sorry you're going through all this crud here on LA TV platform. We want to highlight all the splendid things from my point of view of how I see you. The things that inspire me are your fashion. And all the things that you wear have a story to it. As you can see, I expounded on it in just one picture. So in this picture, like I said, these it's a montage of inspirational things. To the left, there's female inspiration in reference to what I drew from Wendy Williams' cheerleading outfit from her high school days. 
And then to the right, there's male inspiration of what I drew from Wendy Williams High School's day picture. Wendy, you are a living legacy and I'm wishing the best for you. I look forward to making the next video and choosing the color that will best um, lead the way for the next video. My name is LA, pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Signing on until next, Wendy Williams Fashions, the many looks of Wendy Williams. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you.